Well, hello, Robert Heffernan with Endotech. Uh, this is Blockchain Vitals, our daily show talking cryptocurrencies, blockchain assets, uh, things I like to call in the matrix. I am a master endotechnician. And uh, please, if you get the chance, follow us on Twitter. A, a, a vibrant conversation today on Twitter uh, about the trading floor uh, started by my friend Jeff Carter. Uh, his blog, Points and Figures, uh, always insightful. Uh, and uh, talking about how today uh, the, the, the floor of the old days would be banned, banished, uh, and it was just business as usual on a trading floor to be in somebody's face uh, and to uh, maybe not be politically correct ever. Uh, but uh, my word was my bond, and you could make damn sure that uh, you were there was integrity in the marketplace for the most part. There, there's bad players everywhere, obviously. Uh, but uh, the trading floor was a unique environment of uh, personalities, ethnicities, uh, social uh, and, and financial ladder climbing and falling all melted together along with uh, incredible food that Chicago offered, uh, incredible entertainment and drinking and sports. I got to tell you, there was no place like it on earth uh, than a... a the vibrant trading floors of the 80s, 90s. I'm sure it was the 1880s and 1890s were fun too. Let's not kid each other. Uh, and into the 2000s, man, what a great, what a great time. Anyway, uh, we're all in the matrix now, right? We're, we are trading digitally. We're in a digital world. And uh, that's the way it's going to be. And I had, you know, you know what? We're going to do the rounds here and I'm going to talk about what I did today. Doing the rounds, my chance to talk about something going on in the space, uh, something I'm seeing, maybe a headline, maybe a tweet, and I will bring in the tweets tomorrow because I already had to today's schedule uh, for the segment, uh, but the firestorm of tweets needs to be brought to everybody's attention on what that trading floor environment was like. Uh, but anyway, this was the, 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 this was the headline, major milestone of cryptocurrency Cardano, ADA, with the upgrade Shelly. Now, the reason I want to bring this up, you might not know Cardano, you might not know ADA. Uh, and, and so a little background, Cardano is what they want to consider a third generation, Bitcoin being the first, Ethereum being the second, and Cardano being a third generation uh, cryptographic uh, coin, Cardano being the currency and the platform being the delivery mechanism for smart contracts, just like Ethereum is. Uh, but but this one in particular has uh, trying to structure into the evolution of the coin exactly how the community comes to consensus on the evolution of the coin so you don't suffer hard forks and defragmentation like we're seeing in the Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SVZ, SB, Bitcoin Cash SV. Let me get that right. Uh, the you know it's a fiasco for, for sure and uh, a lot of bad blood and people suing everybody and completely losing sight of what the revolution is supposed to be about and that is uh, to uh, make things more transparent, more equitable, more uh, you know fairer for everyone. And the Cardano community, I think, is doing a, a stand-up job in trying to put together that type of community. Uh, going forward. Anyway, I wanted to talk about that. And, you know, today uh, I went in studio and recorded, uh, and my, my friend Steve Hartwell in Bend, Oregon, helping me out, flesh out this blues tune. The reason why I want to do it is because I want to put it on the blockchain. And I'm hopefully going to use the Beatscoin community and that cryptocurrency to uh, launch the, the, the song. I will do a full segment. Uh, on the, exactly the steps that it took to put it on that blockchain. And I was speaking with Steve about the, the, the blockchain community and how I've never seen a community of smarter people, first of all. I mean, the, the whole cryptographic side of this thing is so far above my pay grade that, you know, we can't even talk about that, 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 that disparity. Talk about disparity in incomes. about disparity in knowledge to be a cryptographic uh, coder 
and me. Uh, there's a big discrepancy there. But anyways, the, 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 what I continually see in this space is such a vibrant discussion about things being fair, more equitable, more transparent, uh, more decentralized on the power structure. Uh, and it's very, you know, it's inspiring to watch. I got to tell you, it's inspiring to watch. But we also had the discussion about how sometimes uh, technology, it, it completely erodes the fabric of once was and, and you can't recreate it. All right. And, and I saw that as the pits disappeared. But we also talked about on the music side and how there's a big resurgence in vinyl because you cannot recreate uh, that experience of putting an album on the record player uh, with a digital thing. And I, I, I said, I, I listen to less music now that I have more music at my fingertips than I ever have. Uh, and it was a very vibrant, uh, excellent discussion about the state of the music industry because he is a professional musician. Uh, he has a recording studio here in Bend. And we will delve into this deeper on a, a, another segment that I'm putting together uh, to talk about the disruption and the different things that crypto can disrupt. Anyway, uh, let's uh, take the vitals and talk about price action. I mean, that's what the show is supposed to be about. Taking the vitals. My chance to talk about actual price discovery in the marketplace. Uh, what is going on? And this week, uh, since we are streaming... For the first time to the Facebook crowd, uh, and, and uh, happy to be doing it. I'm going to talk Bitcoin this week. Bitcoin right now trading 52.6840, 52.6840, closing it up momentum uh, two days in a row now. But I got to tell you, very, 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 very quiet action and price discovery. I mean, you can see that right there on the top right of that uh, the, the Bitcoin uh, blockchain vitals pain. Uh, the value range, 52.41 to 52.54, $13, dollars $14 range, just nothing going on. This is wound. We call this when well, market gets re real quiet and wound tight that, you know, I think I think we got some price activity on the horizon. This has been so quiet. And in general, it just doesn't stay that quiet that long. So I'm actually looking for, uh, and, and I got to tell you, man, I, I am a, a, you know, I am preaching and cheering for a bull market. I think the whole asset class is much more interesting if we are uh, in a crypto spring versus a crypto winter. Um, but right now, above that value range, high in up momentum on the daily. Never sniffed out that weekly up momentum level that I talked about, 46.95. Uh, room to the upside to play uh, today to that collar on the daily, 54.29. Look at that third target on the pivot modeling, uh, 54.27. So any play up to that area be a great place to be taking profits if you're long and day trading. And longer term, I'm really looking at that 58.17 level that I've talked about before, that weekly up mo collar. Um, that's what I'm seeing. It's quiet. There's not a lot to talk about on the price discovery side. And uh, I don't need to talk any more then about price discovery if there's nothing to talk about. All right, listen, thank you so much for watching on Facebook. Please go to endotech.io and subscribe uh, and have the full, you know, what do we call it? The full display, the full arsenal of actionable trading tools at endotech.io. Um, and uh, please do it. Endotech.io, subscribe. We have uh, automated trading bots. We have the blockchain vital sheet. We have the market eye. We have uh, the news feed. Uh, aggregator, so many things on the uh, on the site that can help you in your crypto trading endeavors. And soon, we'll be doing these shows on FX and on commodities uh, coming down the pipeline. So thank you so much for watching on uh, YouTube. And I got to say goodbye to you. Tube. No, not YouTube, Facebook. I get them, I get them, I get them confused. See you later, Facebook.